go. Here's the tell-all expose on Gravy Rainbow. Two minutes and ten seconds of uh, magic. <laughs> um, I was stuck in an attic at my partner's uh, grandparents' house with a studio set up in the heat of a lower hut summer, uh, 2010, writing this. Um, so I, I misread at brunch a review for Thomas Pinkins' Gravity's Rainbow uh, as Gravy Rainbow and wrote it on my hand uh, and just thought it would make... It sounds it sounds ridiculous. And so we've made a ridiculous song. It's really not about anything. It's, uh, it's just kind of a... Um, sort of camp, self-mocking, flight of fancy... Uh, I wrote the whole instrumental and chord progression before I'd had any of the lyrics or any of the idea. But I just thought that this uh, this lead melody was too too catchy to, to not give it 100%. Um, yeah, this is just one of those little magic of showbiz moments where I felt like I'd written in quite a good song quite a catchy song as you can see a myriad of vocal tracks um, there is a whole other session that we will have to cover after this video I'll append it to the end which is all of the other vocal tracks uh, vocals pre-render and gravy second main box come from another session I think it's because I was running out of um, a decision making space so I decided to uh, print the vocals from that session and also be the hard drive and CPU overhead to play back all these tracks. So in the pre-rendered audio, if we unmute the... Where are these going? See, I'm going to get confused by this whole thing. So these are stacked, stacked, stacked vocals. Some of them are vocoded. It's just to try to get this fill. They do the mashed potato on the gravy rainbow. Gravy rainbow takes you So we've got three tracks of uh, kind of group vocals. That's presented very uh, crustily. going into a track called Vocal Fill that probably has some sort of high pass on it. Yeah, some sort of ridiculous EQ. Then a mellow one. Very vocoded. Then another multi-track lead and then these high vocals. Of your eyes, it's my gravy rainbow, gravy rainbow, gravy rainbow. Um, and then a vocoder line on top of all this. Gravy rainbow, gravy rainbow. But what I was trying to, I was trying to make it, and and bless Simon for picking up on this for the video. That that is kind of an assault. It is me kicking the door down and just being a troll, uh, and you know, doing something, I guess, and we talked about this before we did the video, these uh, sort of Sid and Marty Croft, um, Lidsville, HR Puff and stuff, even like Willy Wonka type, uh, just like characterizing myself in a way that it was sort of absurd uh, for fun. Um, and as I discussed in the screencast for Electric Ecstasy, this idea that you're talking about something that, that the listener knows about or understands uh, from that viewpoint, there's something just ri ridiculous about that gap of, of knowledge. Uh, it's like I'm sitting here singing about this gravy rainbow and you, of course you know what it's about. You know, I don't know what it's about. Gravy, um, rainbow, gravy. Mr. Sunshine is within reach. Girls on the Beach. Girls on the Beach line is uh, just a Beach Boys tribute uh, for their song Girls on the Beach. Um, 
This lyric. Uh, yeah, Gravy Rainbow takes you to space, then it'll drop you off in some other place. It's a cool place. They've got everything that I know you like now. Uh, still giving no more information. Um, that's the point. Uh, yeah. We have... Uh, FM chords and these were um, printed because the plugin is unavailable so these are from the old stem as well as I think also the baseline was um, Roland VSC which I did get going in the end so not the old uh, Korg M1 slap and thump this is a mixture of synth bass and slap bass disable that because this is working now. So very fun, very uh, very pulsy, very uh, very eighthsy against the beat. And the uh, the drum tone has a uh, quite a gapped sound. It sounds quite gated, uh, which sounds like a party to me. It's got this kind of like hard cut bouncy feel so yeah as an exemplified in the video this wee whoa 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 but is just that's that filmic idea of of me being taken somewhere else uh I didn't really think about it much at the time, but we did, Simon managed to exemplify it in the video quite well with these um, flying puppets and me going around in space. But yeah, that definitely had that mental image of me flying around on a rainbow before the video, before we made the video. Uh, and that was so beautifully captured by Simon from the song you know from just from the context of the song and this kind of like strained version of synth one doing this modulation on this those start notes is very very woolly have a baby on the gravy rainbow i don't know it's just getting more and more ridiculous like uh, have a baby it's about achieving your dreams and this uh kind of drop out drop in thing i think i stole that from sparks there's a lot of uh moments on i think maybe want that sucker uh, that that the, they will they'll drop out but for half as long as you think they will you feel like you're going out to an extended break but it's so quick that it feels like you're being uh for it's like oh we're out oh no we're back in Really beautiful CS eighty V patch. All these little hidden details that I forgot about. And then that uh, more of that even tide style um, pitch shifting um, artifact. Gravy magic. No, oh, that's this uh, Core Game is 20 patch that I made. 
it sounds vaguely like you're pouring something, but sort of that the, the times being sort of as shuddering. This idea that you're this kind of Hanna Barbera magic sound effects. Yeah, on vocal even tighter fix this this Wish upon a gravy rainbow. that I'm I'm sort of putting myself I'm, I'm pulling myself out of the song at that point and then I've, I've sort of disappeared uh, during the coda Wish upon a gravy rainbow. Then Pete Jamieson, famous uh, Wellington keyboardist, uh, musical fixture, uh, lent me his System 100. Um, and that is, you've got all these like weird filter effects and stuff over it. This has been mixed together somehow. We might find out in another session where that came from, but this is part of the joy of opening 10 year old sessions. Yeah, so harmonically it's built off this uh, quite cute chord progression we can play back here. E flat, F, D minor, G minor, E flat, F, D, B flat, F. So it's got this uh, very cute diatonic thing happening and then there's a little sus4 chord at the end of it that pushes, pushes at the end of the measure. And it's pretty much the same all the way through. I um, I think we turn around a little bit of a chord. No, in in the wee section, there's like a slight something slightly different. Baby, baby, be mine tonight. We'll take a flight and then. Yeah, there's just uh, the only sort of harmonic difference in that B section is that this uh, second chord has been delayed a little bit. So it just comes back as, uh, an eighth later. And again, this idea that you have these word salad, um, look at all those words, uh, verses and then a sort of instrumental break. The same in Electric Ecstasy, the same in Drop the Bomb, the same in Gravy Rainbow. It's like you have a chorus and then a break and then a chorus and then, and then a, uh, a coda and then you're out. Um, and the coda is just a variation on the chorus. Uh, but in another way, you have a vocal section and then a kind of sonic chorus. That, that a sound effects world opens up or, or something something changes um, in these break sections. The uh, let me tell you just what we'll do, but it's just me just filling in space. I, I, I would do that. And that's happened in a lot of sketch songs where I'm just like holding off attention to say like, let me tell you what I'm about to sing about. And that's something that I'm trying not to do, but I do like it that it's like, well, I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, and if you'll just wait for the next measure, here it is. Uh, The eyeliner glissando effect used a lot in by now will return.
then at that at that point there is this uh what i call the M- it's ms20 bow base um and it's it's almost like the the last section is is its own dance remix it's got this total obvious like high resonant um bass line <laughs> And just really hammering that last riff home. Yeah, so the the end effects is this sort of picture effects from the um, System 100, not the not the M, the System 100 itself, the vanilla System 100. The, the System 100 M would come later, and actually, I would use that on a lot of Disaster Radio records. Uh, having recorded it at Victoria University on their System 100M modular. So. Yeah, that's me on Gravy Rainbow. The only note I have for myself is Gravy Rainbow, obvious, uh, self-explanatory. Um, it's more of it, mostly an exercise in sort of committing to the bit, um, trying to write a funny song. It's just a funny song. It's just a great funny song. Um, yeah, so we will open up the other sessions for the the vocal tracking, and I can begin to give a bit of a breakdown of those. But yeah, another simple little tune on Disaster Radio's Charisma. I'm sure a an attempt to mix the song from Stems that became a second tracking session that was then folded back into the original session. This one is buggy, so it has some crackle in it. I don't know which plugin is doing what, but um, just to demonstrate some of the other elements that came in into those pre-rendered sections, uh, we've got an incredibly um, belty. Jumping so high, we touch the sky. So I just nod out of your eyes. It's my gravy rainbow. So these would have uh, ended up in those pre-rendered vocal sections. But more importantly, there is the um, System 100 uh, synth parts as individual. There's me playing the bass line probably. This, uh, So this would have been some feedback modulation thing that I'd figured out. Which probably just like the, no- the normal patch on the System 100. This is the wacky stuff right at the end. So yeah, the, the whole thing ended up being a bit of a, um, a dangerous equation between tracking and mixing that much stuff on the computer and um, being able to handle that amount of CPU. But as you can hear, it's all quite brittle and uh, unconstrained and not nice. And also crackling for some, some CPU issue but yeah um, as always none of these sessions are um, at first what they seem Uh, (laughs) because I was pretty much driving myself crazy for six months making this record Um, so yeah that's where the this this is the the synth effects Always a layer of random waveform filtered noise. So yeah, that's the supplemental uh, session on Gravy Rainbow that informed some of those rendered group tracks and some of the synth elements for purposes of performance to be able to mix it real time. Gravy Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> 